Cobra. We're all on a one-way journey through life. And so therefore, sending a person on a one-way trip to the stars that takes his whole lifetime is not a suicide mission. A person gets to do a job that's very exciting. And really, when, when you and I work, we work for all of our lives. Hopefully, it's something that's interesting. These people would be the same way. In Japan, the average time spent traveling to and from work is four hours every day. An estimated 537 million cars will be on the road worldwide in 1991. In the USA, 550 tons of meat is consumed by the population each week. Every day, 430,000 newspapers are printed in Britain. Twenty thousand people pass through the station between eight and nine a.m. each day. Like most other people, I'm bored with this endless debate in the news about disaster and crisis, where we're told that now even our most basic needs are poisoned or diseased: air, water, food, sex. But it's just talk. Everybody complains about the system breaking down, but most still turn up every day, more afraid to stop. Then go on. Not all of us struggle to work. There have always been people who objected to the direction we're moving in and resisted it in different ways. But it took more than a few madmen to create this world I was born into. It took faith in their madness, a willingness to be processed and rationalized. A willingness to be slotted into isolated and artificial worlds of work, each one more insane than the last, the results of centuries of masculine obsessiveness. Each world has experts who defend their territory with impenetrable walls of detail, determined.